Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalod. In this video, we're going to look at the AMD Pro Render integration inside of Instalod Studio XL. AMD Radeon Pro Render is a powerful physically based rendering engine that enables creative professionals to produce stunning photorealistic images. With our integration into Instalod Studio XL, we created a sleek and straightforward user interface, making rendering beautiful images an easy task without needing to worry about dozens of individual settings. I would like to create a velvet material for this armchair with some bronze legs. We'll start off by creating a new material. With the ProRend integration, we have extended the PBR material with additional parameters that can be used by the ray tracer for advanced rendering effects. I will enable the newly added sheen parameter. Let's go ahead and open up the ray trace window to review what this looks like right now. I'll talk you through all of the individual settings in just a few minutes, but for now, let's just click play to start the render. So what we can do right now is change the material parameters and get instant feedback in the render view. We can even navigate the viewport in the render window itself by enabling the viewport interaction icon. I would like to make the velvet a nice turquoise color. We can do this by simply changing the base color value. I will however be using a texture instead. So I will simply drag my file into the base color channel. To make the velvet really pop, I'm going to add a sheen tint and change the sheen color to a nice bright green. Now we can see the drastic change that this effect achieves. To make this look a bit more realistic, I will reduce the tint intensity to around 0.5. Moving on to the legs, I will be using a brownish base color, increase the metalness and apply a worn scratched texture to the roughness channel. Now let's move on to the render window and have a quick overview of some of the settings. First off, we can decide the size of the render image, including the amount of recursions and depth bounces. I will keep the maximum sample count on off to allow the renderer to render until I am satisfied with the result. The preview sample step allows me to have a preview of the render every X samples. I like setting this to 10 or 20 to allow for faster rendering, as the renderer then doesn't need to wait for the image to be displayed and updated before moving on with rendering additional samples. Then we can decide what hardware we want to use for rendering. We can mix and match available CPUs and GPUs as long as they are supported by Radeon Pro Render. I will only be using the GPU this time around. In the camera settings, we can decide what camera to render and add effects like depth of field. The tone mapping allows you to add some additional tweaks, like add a vignette or change the exposure of the image. Post-processing filters like bloom or motion blur are also available for further enhancement of your images. Finally, we have our denoise settings. Denoising is a great way to generate low noise renders with just a few samples. I'm going to keep this off for now, however. We can close the settings tab on the left hand side to have a bit more real estate when setting up our shots. So whenever I'm happy with the rendered result, I can save out the render by going to file and save current. Now this is going to save out the final beauty render. If we select Save All Channels, we can get each individual AOV exported separately. I hope that this video was able to get you started with ray tracing inside of Instalod Studio XL.